Hello, 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 guys. How are you guys doing today? Guess what time it is? It is story time with Miss Doris. I'm so excited to be reading you guys a live, live story on today. Today's story we're going to be reading is a Disney book. It's a hardbound book, and it's 101 Dalmatians. Excuse all the noise in the back if you hear music, or excuse all the noise in the back. But today's story we're going to be reading is 101 Dalmatians. But before we get started, I'd like to greet everyone. All over the world, I would like to say hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some good night. Someone is going to bed somewhere in the world, but guess what? You are just in time for story time with Miss Doris. Shout out to all of you guys that are having a birthday, celebrating a birthday on today, and to all our mothers all over the world, happy Mother's Day to you. I'm going to go ahead on and get started with our story on today. So moms, dads, nanas, papa, titis, uncles and cousins, go ahead on and have a seat while Miss Doris read you a live story at this time. Today's story going to be reading is 101 Dalmatian. Hello Shekana, hello Shaquavia, hello Jay Marie, hello Lakeisha, hello Zanaya, Alexe, Martel, Champagne, hello Poopas, hello Eliza. Eliza, I hope you're having an awesome, awesome day my princess. Let's go ahead on and get started with our story. Panko and Perdita lived in London with their people, pets, Roger and Anita. When Perdita and Pongo became parents of 15 little puppies, they were so, so proud. Life seemed perfect until an old friend of Anita's, Cruella DeVille, came to see the puppies. Cruella waltz into the room demanding to see the adorable puppies and their beautiful, beautiful coats. She even proclaimed that she would buy them all. We're not selling the puppies, said Roger. Not a single one. You fools, Cruella cried. You'll be sorry. And the storm, and she stormed out of the house. <clears throat> One night, Cruella sent her two henchmen, the Bolden brothers, to down nap the puppies. The police immediately launched an investigation, but as the days went by, the puppies were still not found. At last, Pungo said to Perdita, I'm afraid it's all up to us. Pungo decided to try the twilight bark. This was the quickest way for dogs to send and receive news across over the country. Excuse the noise in the background, guys. Sorry. That evening, from the top of the Promise Hill, Pongo sent the alarm. Bark, 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 howl. Then Pongo and Perdita waited after a moment. An answering bark was heard. It's the Great Dane at Hampstead, said Pongo, and he barked the message about the missing, missing puppies. The Great Dane then barked out all night for the alert, all dog alert, sending the news all over London. The twilight bark reached an old sheepdog called the Connell, who lived on a farm. The Connell's friend, a horse named the captain and the cat named Sergeant Tibbs, listened to. They were all concerned to hear the 15 puppies had been stolen. That's funny, Tibbs said to the captain and the colonel. The colonel, I heard puppies barking all over at the old DeVille house last night. No one lived there for years, said the colonel. We must go and see what is going on. Oh my goodness. I hope they find all the puppies that are missing. So the colonel and the tips went quietly up to the house and peered through a broken window. Inside the house, Horace and Jasper Perdue were eating supper and relaxing in the front of the television. All around of the room, there were puppies, not 15 puppies, not even 50 puppies. Tibbs counted 99 puppies. Wow, that's a lot of, whoa, look at all those babies. Those not even his babies, but I hope they find what they are looking for. The colonel quickly returned to the captain's stable and lightly barked the good news within no time at all. The twilight bark sent all the message all the way back to London that the puppies had been found. The good news finally reached the ears of Perdita and Bungo. They set off across the snowy countryside as fast as they could to rescue their puppies. Meanwhile, Sergeant... 
Tis was keeping watch on the house. He peeked in and saw Cariola barking out of ardors. She wanted the puppy skin for Colts. I'll be back first thing in the morning. Fur coats, how awful. Tibbs could not believe it. He had to save those poor little puppies. There were no moments to lose. As soon as the Bootoms began watching television again, Tibbs crept through the broken window and whispered, Hey kids, you better get out of here if you want to save your skins. When all the puppies had been alerted, Tibbs led them out of the room and up the stairs to find the hiding place. Meanwhile, the colonel had head up had met up with Perdita and Pongo and led them to the Deville house. They arrived just in the nick of time and quickly bounded into action. Perdita went after Horace while Pongo tore Jasper Berdoon's trousers. As the fight was going on, Sergeant Tibbs led the puppies out of the house to the safety of the captain's stable. Oh my goodness. There he goes. He's falling on his butt. Oh my goodness. Leaving the Badans in the heat, Perdita and Pongo dashed after the puppies. When they go, when they got to the barn, Perdita checked to see if her 15 puppies were there. You're 15 and a few more, replied the captain. There are 99. 99, said Pongo, astonished. Whatever did Corella do want with 99 puppies? There was a silence for a moment. Then one little puppy said, she was going to make coats out of us. Perdita and Pongo looked at each other in horror. We'll take them home with us, said Pongo. He was sure Roger and Anita look would look after them. There go all the little beautiful Dalmatians. They're so gorgeous. Perdita and Pongo and the puppy set off back to London, fearing that Cruella would come after them. Pongo made the puppies roll in some suit until they all look like black Labradors. Quick into this van, said Pongo. It's going to London. Pongo had just enough time to leap into the tailboard as the van sped off escaping Cruella, Cruella and Badons back in London and home at last. Roger and Anita hugged their puppies, hugged the tired puppies. 14, 15 counted Roger, 62, 94, and 5 over there. That's 101 Dalmatians, counted Perdita and Pongo. What do we do with them? Ask Anita. Well, we'll keep them, said Roger. We'll have a plantation, a Dalmatian plantation. And that's exactly what they did. Wow. The end. That was an awesome story. I enjoyed reading you guys a live story on today. I hope you enjoy your weekend. Remember, guys, if you're not feeling well, always, always let mom, dad, nana, papa, always let someone know that you're not feeling well and guess what they will take really 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 good care of you and remember if you're out in public and there's some establishment saying that you have to wear your mask if that mask sign is on the door make sure you're wearing your mask don't take your mask off guys unless someone tells you to i enjoyed reading your live story on today take care and remember make sure you are practicing safety safety first Happy Mother's Day to all of our mothers all over the world. I hope you enjoy your day on this Sunday. Take care. And remember, if you're not smiling on today, I hope when she sees Miss Doris's smile at story time that you are smiling. Take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. Happy Mother's Day to all of our mothers all over the world. Don't forget to smile. Take care. See you on next Monday.